Yeah, look, lo look like there were a lot of journalists here. And, uh, <laughs> if not, look like that's just three journals. <laughs> now that we are complete with a full house, full house, we can start. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos, firstly, congratulations on that emphatic win at the weekend. Thank how you. pleased were you with that and how's the mood been since then around the training ground and the dressing room? Yeah, finish uh, one game, we open another one. So uh, we are now focused in Huddersfield. Um, of course, when we win, uh, the faces of the players are different. Uh, of course, they are more happy and more open to to, to the trainings, to everything. So the, the week was, was uh, really, really good. And um, we prepare uh, the game, uh, I think, very well. But uh, you know, let, uh, let's play, and after let's see if uh, if if, if uh, everything will be okay on the game. Uh, Ki Sung Young scored in that match. There's been a lot of speculation about his future. Obviously, his contract runs out in summer. Can you tell us any more about his future? Is he going to stay? Does he want to leave? Do you want him to stay? No, I, I mentioned before, so between me and him is very clear. I talked with him uh, when I arrived, he was injury in that moment, was not uh, training also. I had a conversation with him, I explained exactly my plan to him, what I expect from him, and uh, I know that he's in the hand of the contract, but um, uh, uh, we agree that uh, if we need him to, to play, we'll play, and he promised to, to me that uh, we'll give the 100% at the end of the season. And this is what I know about the technical part, about contracts, as you understand, it's not, my, it's not in my hands, so I don't know nothing about, about the contracts. But would you like him to stay if, if you're still here and he's still here? Is he a player you'd like to be so, here? Uh, this is uh, it's a conversation that uh, uh, I like all the players. I like him, of course, I like him a lot, and, uh, but uh, this is not, uh, I think it's not a subject in this moment because he's uh, to my side, you understand? My side in this moment, my focus is just in the in the in the games, try to 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 win games, try to save the the team, try to to stay in the in the Premier. This is my focus. So the different things about contracts. Uh, again, uh, when we come to a club that we have an emergency plan, uh, everything is burned. Uh, the first thing that we must try to do is put water in the in the burn because we have a big burn around you. So when you are doing this, you don't have time to do different things, uh, to plan nothing, to to rebuild the things. Uh, you are focused, and we still focus in, in, uh, in try to the burn disappear. In this moment, it's, it's much better. So we, we use a lot of water to put the, the things in good way. But uh, we still, we still, uh, it's like that when they have a burn in the forest, and sometimes the the burn can appear again if you don't care about about the your position and about the the forest. So we are in that position in this moment. The fire is not there, but. We are looking that the, the fire can come again, and we we must be attention. So, uh, when we are in this position, uh, you don't have time to to do to think about different things. I'm absolutely sure. Okay, well, let's look ahead to the weekend then. Uh, how are you looking in terms of injuries? Any new concerns this week? No, nothing. Uh, just uh, today, uh, Leon Leon Britain felt a little pain on the back, and he didn't training. But uh, nothing serious, but uh, you just have felt that pain on the, on the back. But uh, we believe that tomorrow we can train normal, but uh, we don't have any fresh injuries. Every, everyone is ready and training really very well. And that one at the weekend propelled you up the table to 13th. Looking ahead to Huddersfield now, you're level on points, but a couple of places apart. How do you approach this game? Uh, we know, I know the, the team and the manager very well. He's doing a great job in the in the others field since he arrived. He progressed the team the first second season. Second season, he promoted the, the team. Uh, we play often against uh, against them. Uh, I think six times in, in two two years. Um, it's interesting the way that they play. Um, they play with quality. They try all the time to play with quality. Uh, they bring more players this this season in the Premier, so they improve the team. Um, we expect a difficult game, uh, but um, uh, I think we can put the things difficult to them also. So it's our purpose to try to, to put the, th the things difficult to them. Um, let's see. It um, will be interesting because uh, uh, they have value, we have our value also. So uh, uh, it's a, 
we, it's a game that we can't predict what, what will happen. So we'll try to do the things that we must do to, to fight to do the three, three points. And after, let's see at the end what will happen. It's so tight at the moment for all the teams around there. How do you deal with the pressure of a relegation battle? Do you feel the pressure because you seem so relaxed? No, I don't feel pressure. No, I'm really relaxed. So even when I arrived, I was relaxed. So um, ah, it's a question, I know, it's the, the relative to things. It's, I think it's relative to things. So if we have really a problem, it's a problem. A subject is a subject. Uh, football can't bring you to your problems, can't bring you subjects. And subjects, you can try to solve them. Problems, you it's very, very hard to deal with them, with, uh, with words, with... Um, terrorism with the people that uh, friend of you or or your family that is ill this is really a problem football is completely different you can you must look to the football with patience with something positive and uh, look to the things that uh, you can solve the things uh, and if, if you don't solve a thing nobody will die about about the situation so is everything relative in the life so why, why I will feel pressure when I have a lot of people in the world that are feeling a really, really big pressure in the life, so it won't make sense. You also got an FA Cup quarter final to look forward to the week after. Would you sacrifice the place in the Premier League for winning the FA Cup? No, I understand the question, but you know that because you are followers, you know that I will not talk about the Cup in this moment. So in this moment, we are talking about Huddersfield is our focus. We are not thinking in the game that we'll, we'll have uh, next week. So in this moment, everything is, uh, all of us who are focused just in this game, try to do the maximum to achieve points in this game. So when we finish this game, we'll, we'll start thinking about the, the another one. You've been here a couple of months now, though. So if I could ask you right now, what are you aiming to achieve for this season with Swansea City? What, what do you think you could do? Uh, to, if uh, we stay in the Premier, like we expect, because we are working hard to that, will be a kind of miracle, will be one kind of miracles that happen in the, in the Premier in the, in the last years. Uh, um, so is what I want, is to stay in the Premier. We can think more than this, so uh, we're still fighting in this situation, but uh, I never forget. And I think you was here in the first day that when I arrived, you remember that when I arrived, um, when we arrived, so my staff, uh, the things was really, really, really bad and nobody believed that we can stay in the Premier. So. We're still fighting to that, so uh, it's not. Uh, re uh, we are not uh, um, anymore in the bad position, but we're still in the position that we must win uh, win games and points to to be safe. And if we save the team, will be um, something fantastic, in my opinion. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, interesting that you mentioned the word miracle there, because I think when you first no, arrived, no, it's not not me. No. When I arrived, no. Yeah, when I arrived. Your colleagues uh, ask me often, often about uh, about uh, about uh, miracle, that kind of miracle. So I hear the word and I fix the word in that in that day. It was not me; it was the journalist. I and I I reply saying that uh, miracle is something divine, uh, but uh, things that the men can do that is not a miracle. And we can do that. I I remember reply reply that. Sorry to correct. No, no, I just thought b b that's why I mentioned it, really. Um, you mentioned the, the forest fire as well, the latest in a long line of interesting analogies. Given the situation Swansea were in when you first arrived, how would you assess the progress you've made in your bid for survival? No, we progress uh, a lot in different things, in the, uh, different things, in the quality of the game, in points, in quality of the game. The individual value of the players is more high in this moment. Um, the quality also is more high. Uh, we are very competitive now. We are. We, we felt very strong and very competitive. No makers better than than other opponents, but makers in position to discuss points with all the teams. So this is the the big difference. In this moment, we can discuss points with all the teams, but we are not better than any any opponent. But we are we are very competitive in this moment. We are more competitive, uh, more solid. Uh, the idea of the game, the players understand what we want exactly. They was they was doing um, unbelievable work because uh, it's why all the time I put them in the center of everything because they they are uh, doing what we want and sometimes they are upgrading what we want and this is um, is very important and I'm really I'm not tired to say that I'm very proud of what my players.
and you've used many interesting ways to describe that progress. Um, for example, swimming to the sea, looking for the mm -hmm. coast for safety. Where are you on that journey at the moment, do you think? Well, uh, so I, I, sometimes I, I, I reply before, I try to answer in this way to you understand. So I talk about uh, the forest. I don't, I don't think about this before the press conference, I'm still, I think in this moment, so because we was like on the fire when we arrived and everything is burned. So uh, I think it's more easy after 30 seconds, you will understand exactly what I'm talking about. Instead, I talk five or 10 minutes to explain everything. So I think it makes things more easy and more easy to me also. Uh, but uh, no, we are, I said also before that we was uh, deep on, on the ocean. One time we go to the line of water. So it's something that we was out of the three last positions. So when you start looking out of the water, you can see the way that we are, uh, you can swim to the coast. So we're still swimming to the coast in this moment. So because uh, in this moment we know the direction, we know exactly what we must do uh, and we can see that we can we can save, but again, so we are not, we're still not in easy situation. We're still fighting with a lot of teams that uh, we must win points. Looking to the game against Huddersfield, they're a team, as you mentioned, you've come across during your time with Sheffield Wednesday, and you had a very good record against them. I think you won your four league games, albeit then losing in the playoffs. <laughs> what are your memories of your? Matchups with Huddersfield. Yeah, we didn't lose. Uh, we play six games. We win four, I think, and we draw two. But uh, but they win the, in the penalties the the more important game. This is the point, and uh, they they did really well. They did really well. I, I I can't say that they they was better than us because I don't I don't think that they was better than us. But there is a team very equal to both, and the final the, the penalties is a, is a reflection of the value of the teams. So uh, but. Uh, um, well, I'm not in Sheffield Wednesday anymore. Um, my different team, uh, they will play with different players. Also in this moment, even they they stay with the same style. Um, they have a good organization. They have a good manager. He's doing a great, great, great work in Huddersfield. We respect them a lot, uh, but uh, we go there to try to to bring points. Is our purpose to try to bring points uh, from Huddersfield, uh, understanding that it will be a different game comparing with the, with the past. Absolutely sure. I was wondering if I could ask you about Renato Sanchez as well. He's missed a few weeks now uh, mm -hmm. with an injury. I think he was pictured training in Portugal recently. Could you give us an update on his situation and when we might see him play for Swansea again? Uh, I replied last, uh, last uh, month that uh, I believe that uh, Renato will be ready next month, so this month. So I believe that this month uh, we'll be able to to start training and after the end of the days because it was stop it stopped a lot of weeks uh, to be with a, a normal physical condition to try to help the team so uh, but i believe that because i answered last uh, last month and if everything will be okay uh, this month you will be you'll be ready um, to be involved in the in the team and has there been a particular reason why he's chosen to Recuperate in Portugal rather than Swansea. No, no, no it's not. Uh, it's not exactly like that. He did the, the important part of the generation here. There one part of the of the recover uh, that he requests to go to Portugal because about the weather, and the weather can help a lot in this kind of situation. The muscle problem with the cold is more difficult to him, and we understand that if uh, that period of that uh, uh, part of the the recover of the injury. Um, you can do there or here or another part because it's a, a standard standard thing. Um, we agree that he can go to be, to be more near the family with a different weather to, to uh, uh, try to uh, um, be 100% uh, more fast. So is why the, the medical department uh, said yes, but uh, is here or will be here now uh, to do the another important part is the final part of the of the recovery from the injury. And just finally, you impressed a lot of people with your knowledge of uh, Sheffield music uh, after the West Ham game when you spoke about Reverend and the Makers, okay. Arctic Monkeys and so on. I was wondering if you'd had a chance to listen to many bands from Wales in your time here. Uh, I, yes, I saw someone send me one that I don't uh, fix the name. But uh, I hear and I like it, I like it. Uh, I, I can't remember the name because a lot of names that come from music, I'm hearing a lot of music in the last last uh, weeks, 
But uh, yes, from Wales is a, a band from, from, from Wales. I don't remember the name, but I will tell you next time. I will be ready to answer <laughs> exactly your question. Thanks. I'll be ready. Thanks. 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 Hi, Carlos. Hi. Um, the supporters, after quite a while probably avoiding looking at the league table, are now happy to look at it with Swansea in a, in a good, healthy position. Do you and the players allow yourself to study the league table and, and dream a bit bigger now? No, uh, I, I never talk with my players about the league, uh, league position, uh, never, never, since I arrived, because our purpose, uh, it was in one way, I said this in the first day, we'll fix it in the, in try to, don't uh, do mistakes, repeat mistakes, improve a dynamic, improve a formation, and fixing ourselves to be better and better, because if we'll do better and better, sure that uh, even we, are, we can lose the first games, but we can lose four or five in a row and we can save the team. So it, did, it was our way. I, I didn't change nothing about that. We still uh, try to progress the team, try to don't repeat mistakes, try to improve the team. And of course, if we, we play better uh, and better, if we play better than oppon opponents, we can win more than lose. So this is still our, our way. So, uh, and about that, I must tell you that uh, I will reply again, that uh, if you stay in the Premier, uh, in the voice of your colleagues will, will be a miracle. In, not in my opinion, but in the opinion of your colleagues in the first day that when we arrive, at, but, but we have a long, uh, long, uh, longer run to do uh, at, at hand. Swansea and Huddersfield have met many times down the years, since the 1950s. Just the one nil-nil draw. There's been quite a few goals in your games recently. Are you expecting a tight game this weekend, or, or actually will you try and attack? No, uh, we'll play against a positive team. Othersfield is a positive team. They like the ball, they like to uh, manage the game with the ball, they like attack, they like... Uh, it's a team very, very positive. So, we are positive also, uh, but uh, sometimes this doesn't represent goals, so let's see. I hope that uh, can happen goals, mm -hmm. from our side, of course, uh, more important. But uh, sure that will be two positive th teams. It's not... Uh, will be even we are the both teams fighting to the... Uh, to stay in the Premier will be not a game that with uh, two negative teams just close uh, to defending and so on. It will be not like that because we are positives on the game and I know that Huddersfield and uh, they will try to do the same. So it will be important, in interesting game, in my opinion. It's a balance though, isn't it, about being too positive. You said in your programme notes against West Ham that perhaps in the Brighton game you were perhaps too positive and is it about striking that balance this weekend? No, we, we, no, we don't change comparing with the opponents. So the opponents can uh, put us, again, like I said, listen to the music that they put, or we can put the music, but this is the depend of the game. So, but we don't change nothing. If, uh, when we play against Liverpool, they have much more ball position than us, but uh, they don't do this because we don't want. They do this because they are quality, and they, they, they stay with the ball, because if they give a chance to us to stay more with the ball, we'll stay with the ball because we'll do our game. So it's all the time this kind of of, uh, of, uh, of situation, a confrontation between two teams. Sometimes the teams are really very good in the ball position and um, they control the ball with the game. So and we must be clever to acting against these teams. But if these things happen, it's not because you give the ball to them. It's because they have quality to be with the ball. So um, will be will be a game on, on Saturday that uh, um, Udersfield is a team that like the ball. They like the ball also. We like the ball also, so let's see during the game. Uh, and after recording what will happen, let's be clever how we act, how we act. Because if we have the ball, we know what we must do. If we don't have the ball, we know exactly what we must do also. So it um, will be interesting. You've had many high points in your career and hopefully many more to come. But I just wonder, given what you said after the, the playoff game last May and how disappointed, and I think you said heartbroken at that point, does that act as any motivation to you on a personal level this weekend? About this, uh, about facing Huddersfield and the fact no, that no, really no. I'm not this kind of person, so I don't keep the things with me uh, mm. because I will do a revenge or something. I don't have the revenge feeling in my in my in my body. Absolutely sure. No, I'm not that kind of person. No, I will be a game that I will it will be important to us and uh, and uh, we'll try to win like we did in the past against an, another teams and we'll try to do in the future. So nothing different. Uh, absolutely. Nothing. Best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. It's okay? okay. Thanks Cheers. a lot. Thank you.